Assalamu alaikum hello everyone i am asba glambaz and today i am going to show you how to crochet the crochet bikini top and this is part 1 and in part 2 we are going to learn how to crochet uh, crochet bikini bottom so without wasting any time let's get started so we will be needing a uh, a measuring tape a pair of scissors 2 mm hook a tapestry needle and some cotton yarn it is preferred to use 100% cotton yarn for making the crochet bikini tops and for making the crochet bikinis so if you are having any other option then that you can use but it is preferred to use 100% cotton yarn so let's get started so i am using over here triple strand of my yarn this is 100% cotton and this is my 2 mm hook focus first so we are going to start with a slip stitch slip knot after making the slip knot i am making chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 into the first chain we are going to make a slip stitch chain 3 and into this ring that we formed we are going to make three double crochets yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through more two loops this is our uh first double crochet and two more double crochets into the same ring i hope the video is clear not blur These three chains will be count as our first double crochet and I don't know what the problem is with the camera why it is not focusing I am so sorry for the disturbance Okay So you can see the first three chain are counted as our first double crochet and we did three more double crochets. After that we are going to chain 2 and now we are going to make four double crochets. So we are going to start with the slip knot and after making the slip knot we are going to chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 after making five chains we are going to make a slip stitch into the very first chain and our ring is now ready to work in now we are going to make three chains and these will be counted as our first double crochet yarn over into the ring we are going to make three double crochets 1 2 and 3 after making three double crochets we are going to chain 2 and now make four double crochets into the same ring again chain 2 and four double crochets into the chain chain 2 and now we are going to slip stitch into the third chain of our first set of four double crochets and our first round is complete now we are going to make A slip stitch into the next three stitches. One, two, and this is the third one. Now we will reach to the chain two space, and over here we are going to do a slip stitch. Round two will start, and for that we are going to chain three 
this will be count as our first double crochet yarn over insert the hook into the chain 2 space and make a double crochet again chain 2 yarn over make 2 double crochets so this is our first corner remember we made 3 corners in our first round and now this is the first corner of our second round Now we are going to make 4 double crochets on the 4 double crochets of our previous round. So we reach to the next corner and in the corner we are going to make 2 double crochets, chain 2 and 2 double crochets. Our second corner is ready. Now make 4 double crochets on top of the 4 double crochets. And we reach the corner and, this, and in this corner we are going to make 2 double crochets, chain 2 and 2 double crochets. Now these are the 4 double crochets on which we are going to make 4 double crochets. We completed our second round and we are going to do a slip stitch into the third chain like this. Again we want to reach to the chain 2 space and for that we are going to do a slip stitch and a slip stitch into the chain 2 space and repeat this into the third round and same into the fourth round I have completed my four rounds and it looks something like this moving on to the fifth round chain 3 and make a double crochet chain 2 and two more double crochet our first corner is ready now what we have to do is we have to make two double crochet in between the stitches like this now after these two stitches in this space we are going to make two single crochets or oh, two double crochets you understand like this Here I did a mistake. You have to skip the two double crochets and in between this you are going to do two double crochets. Now see we have over here this is the corner and over here we have four double crochets so in these in after skipping the two double crochets we are going to do two double crochets and now we reach to the corner so in this corner we are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets again we are going to repeat like this by skipping two 
double crochet and in between these two double crochets we are making we are going to make two double crochet so continue and join me back once you have completed the fifth round after completing round five it looks something like this now we are going to start the sixth round and for that we are going to chain three and make two double crochets into the chain two space so total we have three double crochets now we are going to make chain two and make three double crochets into the same chain two space So we have a corner over here with 3 double crochets, chain 2 and 3 double crochets. Moving on into skipping this and we are going to work in this space. So we are going to make 3 double crochets in every space that we have over here. Like in between the set of 2 double crochets we are making 3 double crochets. So this will give a design to our bikini top. Three double crochet in every space and on the corners we are going to make three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet. Now this is our second last round and in the last round I am going to show you how to make the strap with it because we are not going to make the strap individually like we are going to make the strap and then attach it to the top of our bikini no we are going to work together so that it looks uh, more stronger more neat and more delicate and a nice look to our bikini top so see here I am on the corner so I did 3 double crochets, chain 2 and again 3 double crochets over here. In this way join me back when once you have completed round 6. So look after completing my 6th round it looks something like this and it's taking its triangle shape. Now we are going, make, going to make the last round of single crochet and for that we are going to start from here only making single crochet yarn or you don't have to yarn over just simply insert the hook pull through and yarn over pull through two loops. Now what you have to do in the corner we are going to make chain one sorry we are going to make one single crochet chain two and a single crochet this will give a very neat and a proper uh, corner to our work moving on we are going to make a single crochet in each of the stitch single crochet till here into the corner single crochet chain 2 and a single crochet and again single crochet when we reach to this top over here we are going to make a string to tie on our neck so reach over here and then I am going to show you how to make the chain string now I am here at the corner like we did first corner over here we did single crochet and then again a corner and single crochet and now I am here on the corner now what I have to do over here is I have to make two single crochets okay and then we are going to chain 200 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 in this way we are going to make 200 chains Okay, join me back when we have completed the 200 chain. So now you can see I have made a long string of chain and uh, 200 chains. It means that it is approximate from here if we measure. It is approximate you can see, 27 inches. 
okay so you can also make it 30 inches or more or less it's your choice now what we have to do with this string is that now we are going to make slip stitch in every single chain so as you can see this is our chain and in this chain we are going to make a slip stitch like this in every single in every single chain and it will give something it will look something like this you see the string will look something like this so once you have came over here by doing the slip stitch then again we are going to do a single crochet all the way around and fasten off our work and with yarn and needle we are going to uh, hide our this tail now you can see our two triangles are ready and uh, this is how it looks like and let me show you the measurement that what it is what is the measurement of these final triangles after making and this i have made for the small size so from here till here it's 12 cm and from here till here it is approximately 13 cm. Now for this, uh, this is a small size for the medium and the large you can increase by 2 inches like uh, uh, the length of this is 12 inches so you can make it 14 inches and uh, likewise you are going to increase in like this also okay so this is the pattern that i have made by myself and this is my very own pattern i would really appreciate if you would really support share and like my video and now we need a string to be uh, weave through these holes so that we can tie it with our uh, in uh, at our back so for that the same thing we did in this string we are going to make a very long chain and make a single crochet uh, make slip stitch in each of the string now let me show you the measurement of this string and I have made it it's about 54 inches you can make it 60 inches or as uh, much long as you like the longer the better so to weave this to attach it with the triangles you simply have to do is like uh, go through these holes like this and here we are pull this through and like this yeah done Similarly, do it with this one. So here you go. You can see our bikini top is ready. And this one I did in three colors. The copper color, the brown and the beige. And the outline I did with the copper. So the design looks permanent. In this one, the design doesn't look more permanent. But it gives a very beautiful look to our uh, bikini top. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you like it and stay tuned for the next video in which I will be showing you how to crochet bikini bottom. You see, this is our bikini bottom and for that you are going to wait for my next uh, notification. So stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Allah Hafiz. Bye.